According to national statistics, since 2012, cell phone usage has increased 70%. They have all the power of a modern computer tucked right into our pockets. However, they could also cause isolation and sleep loss. There is an undisputable convenience that comes with having a smartphone. With just a few taps on the screen, you can access the internet, turn on music or a game, or a variety of other things that can help the average person get through their day. I use my cell phone every day, usually check social media or text or um, check the news. Uh, I use my phone mostly for like Twitter and Instagram and things like that, and then games if I'm bored. I don't really use my cell phone a lot. I, I rarely use it actually. Cell phones can be highly attributed to adolescent sleep loss through the fact that the bright lights emitted by a cell phone screen can disrupt sleep patterns. Teenagers also often keep their cell phones near them when they sleep, and this may lead to interruptions in sleep. Um, I charge it right next to me, so I mean it charges while I'm sleeping, but and sometimes I use it right before I go to bed, and sometimes not, depending on how much battery it has. So, um, I do usually have my phone with me when I before I go to sleep. I'm usually on it for like a good one to two hours. I do sleep with my phone, and it's like 20 minutes maybe before I go to bed. Keeping up with social media alerts and text messages may cause anxiety and unhappiness, and students who use smartphones more often tend to have lower GPAs. Um, I believe in some aspects the phone does help us a lot with our homework, so you can just search things up on it. I think that it can affect, it can affect you in both a positive and negative way. I'd say before we got the Chromebooks it was an advantage, but now that we have the Chromebooks, I, don't, I feel like it's more of a distraction now. It can make some things easier, like keeping track of your schoolwork, but it can also be a distraction when it comes to like being focused. It's a pretty useful tool. Um, in some other ways, it could be distracting, but it's up to the person, really. We asked Mr. Carroll, the principal at Waldock High School, his opinion on cell phones and cell phone usage. Uh, the advantages of a smartphone are we have the power of a computer in our hands at all times, um, which is the cell phone now is actually more powerful than computers a couple of years ago. The disadvantages that we're totally connected to and rely on them so much that sometimes we miss out on that face-to-face -face communication. Everyone needs a break once in a while, so at times put it down and enjoy the people around you. All in all, smartphones have a ton of advantages, but could also end up being a huge distraction. I'm Zach Turner with WBC News. See you next time.